Well, friends, another day checking line. Welcome to another episode of the Camel Cowboy Outdoors. It's fairly cold. It's about minus 15. It is snowing like heck. In fact, out on the open, out on the lakes, it's a whiteout. Um, I'm on the south line where I put in that wolf bait, which the wolves have never been to. I caught a few coyotes here. It looks like we caught ourselves another coyote. I'm hoping it's not plucked or anything. Let's take a look at them. Oh, really nice dog, guys. A really nice dog. Look at the guard hairs on him. Not a, not a big dog, but a good dog. All right. Well, I'm going to get him out of there. And we will carry on. And we'll carry on, guys. Hope it's going to be a good day. Like I said, it's snowing like crazy. Probably too much snow. What's, what's probably going to happen now, my wolf traps up north, they're probably going to get too much snow on them. But we'll see. Whatever happens, we'll deal with it. All right, guys, I'm going to get them out of here, and we'll carry on. Well, I'm up here in the north. Stop for a cup of tea. Snow's eased up a bit, but with all that blowing snow, it's been getting under my hind end and everything else, and I am wet and cold. You know, the other day I was at Canadian Tire and I looked at one of them Kamek snowsuits. They're supposed to kind of shed the water where this here just soaks it up. I don't know. Don't know if they're worth the money or not. But um, so far just that coyote I caught on the south line. Um, checked my wolf traps already and there's nothing been, nothing been there. Come along the trail, there was about 15 deer all in a clump. They had the snow wall dug up there and they've been digging around, but hope I can pick up a wolf or two yet. You know, over, over my trapping career, I've taken 42 wolves, snared, trapped, and shot. And um, it would sure be nice to get another wolf or two, but we will see. Wolves are a waiting game. But um, anyways, guys, I'm just going to finish my tea, and warm up a little bit more, and then I'm going to carry on my way. I'll finish checking this north here. I don't got too much left to check. And then I'll finish checking the south line on the way back. No fisher yet, and I kind of was expecting that because it did get quite cold here. I said it was minus 15. I think it's more like minus 18, but and um, they just don't move as much. So, anyways, folks, I'm gonna finish up here and I'll carry on my way. Stay tuned. Well, good day, folks. How are y'all doing today? Um, it's cold. Um, out doing another run. It was minus 30 this morning, and now it's sitting at minus 23. It's sunny, um, but it's cold. There's wind blowing. Coming along here to Sandy on the lake, Sandy Lake. And um, last spring, I caught a few beaver here house and by golly now there's some ink tracks here. We just had a box sitting here. I had it here all winter. We caught ourselves a mink. First mink of the year. It might be the only mink guys. But I'm really happy about that. It's froze solid so I guess I'll just have to change out the trap. 
And we'll leave it set because there might be another mink here. We will see. There's a lot of tracks around here. I don't know if this mink made them all or if there's another one hanging around here. But I'm kind of happy to get some mink. Alrighty. Stay tuned, folks. Did I mention it's cold? <laughs> Stay tuned. See you down the trail. Well, I'm on the north line, guys. And I see my fisher streak continues. Got a fisher in my link set. He's snared right around the neck. So I'm going to have to take care of him here right away, guys, and we'll have a better look at it. Well, there we go, folks. I gave it a BFT. It's no wonder I got no Martin up here. There's so darn many fisher. Um, there you can see where it came in. Right through there and right straight into my lynx pen. So, I'm going to fix this up, I guess. And throw the fisher in a bag and be on my way. That's number 22, guys. Well, there I got my token squirrel again. I'm not even really trying for them, but I got a few snares out where they're handy. This was a nice squirrel. Really nice. Well, I'm gonna get them out of here. We'll get this snare reset. We'll mosey on. Out here along the driveway and there's another moose. Sure is nice to see. And on the other side of me there's a calf. Beautiful animal. Well, friends, um, some people, they were kind of wondering how many fish I'm allowed to catch, and I can catch as many as, as I can. I have no limit on them. Uh, any of the animals I trap, there's no limit here where I trap. And... Um, there's really no fear of over-trapping those fish or um, I actually would like to cut them down a little bit because I think that's why I have no marten. But um, I have 11 and a half thousand acres that I can trap here and I'm only touching just the smallest fraction of that. Like there's so much area I'm just not miles and miles and miles I'm not even covering. And um, you know if I take some fisher out of an area more just pour in from from the other areas so there's really no fear that I'm gonna decimate the fishers here but I would like to expand the territory a little bit but there's a lot of trail that needs to be cleared and stuff but anyways that's the way it's been that coyote the day before yesterday and mink and a fisher and squirrel today so um, until next time, I want to thank you all for watching, and the good Lord willing, we'll see you down the trail.